Chapter 7 Dr. Abdul Kalam Dreams to Reality It was evening in the picturesque seaside town of Rameshwaram on the southern edge of Tamil Nadu. A cool breeze was gently blowing in from the sea. Along with the sound of waves lapping against the shore could be heard the sweet sound of birds circling overhead. Among the children playing on the beach was a boy with wavy hair and dreamy eyes. This youngster was Avul Pakir Jainulabdeen Abdul Kalam, who later became the 11th president of India. While spending time with his friends, Abdul was attracted by the sound of the birds flying above. He carefully observed that a fledgling perched on a boat was trying to take off. It spread its wings, fluttered briefly and sprang up. The air seemed to give the needed thrust for its takeoff. The bird soared up into the sky. It steered its pace and course with great ease. How Abdul wished he could fly like those beauties in the air. This passion for flying, aroused by the beautiful birds, years later inspired Abdul Kalam to design India's first rocket, which successfully sent a satellite Rohini into orbit on 18 July 1980. It was called the SLV-3, Satellite Launched Vehicle. At the time when Abdul was growing up, no one had ever dreamt of such a happening. Rameshwaram, where Abdul was born on 15th October 1931, was a small town with narrow streets lined with old houses for its Shiva temple. The temple consists of a long corridor of 213 meters lined with statues of donors. Nowadays, people from all over the country visit his ancestral house on Mosque Street. Built during the middle of the 19th century, it is a small, simple bungalow which at one time had a blue exterior and a red tiled roof. In the front, there is a veranda where the family used to sit and chat, usually after dinner. The main room has a few items of furniture, a cupboard and a cot. In a corner, there is a shelf of books stacked with English and Tamil classics. Abdul stayed in that house with his father, mother, brothers and sisters and led a secure and happy childhood. Abdul's father, Jainulabdeen, was a pious man. He led an austere life without depriving his family of the basic comforts. In this close-knit family, dinner was always a special meal. During dinner, they exchanged views on a variety of topics, ranging from family matters to spiritual subjects. The main income for Abdul's family came from ferrying pilgrims across the sea between Rameshwaram and Dhanushkodi. Pilgrims visiting Rameshwaram made it a point to visit Dhanushkodi 20 kilometers away in the sea. Dhanushkodi has religious significance. Ferrying pilgrims fetched good money and the family lived comfortably. However, a devastating cyclone lashed the shores of Rameshwaram and their boat was destroyed. The family lost their only source of livelihood in one swift tragic stroke. The enterprising young Abdul wanted to help the family through the crisis. He realized that there was a demand for tamarind seeds. He decided he would collect them and sell them to a shop near his house. The family wanted him to concentrate on his studies. He said he would study as well as help his family. Reluctantly, everyone agreed. Even while studying or enjoying the evenings with his friends on the beach, he set aside some time to collect tamarind seeds and sell them to the nearby shop. For this, he was paid the princely sum of one anna. Besides selling tamarind seeds, he helped his cousin, Samsuddin, to sell the popular Tamil newspaper, 